Well, we have a very, very special edition of Unplugged On Crick Buzz here for you today on the eve of the T20 World Cup final. None other than Megan Shute. How, first of all, are the emotions right now? <laughs> uh, yeah, they're high. Um, obviously, nerves are a big one, but it's mainly just excitement. Um, to kind of read today that 75,000 tickets have been sold already, that's just the stuff you dream of as a kid and for it to all just come together now, um, I'm just amazed it's here. Uh, you've been out here training uh, on the MCG today. Uh, do you have any sort of thing that you're doing to try and actually keep the nerves down? Nah, it's a part of it to be honest. I think nerves are great, it means you care. Um, <laughs> I'm nervous before almost every single game that I play. This is just going to be a little bit more of a bigger occasion I guess. So I think once I get out there and I bowl my first ball or even field my first ball, those nerves kind of settle a little. It's going to be just um, getting used to the occasion of a loud crowd. Yeah, that's something that I was going to bring up. I, I, when you are talking about 75,000, we've never played in front of half that, probably a quarter of that, even less. Have you been talking about how as a team you cope with that, particularly with things like being able to hear each other? <laughs> yeah, and I think Meg's going to get a little bit shitty with us at times there. So we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on her, that's for sure. Um, but pretty much just not getting caught in the emotions of the crowd. We know that Indian fans are very loud and that's what makes an amazing atmosphere, but also realising that they're going to applaud the singles and things like that. So it's just going to be realising that um, we're in a, probably a better position than what it's going to feel with a crowd. So we know what we're in for and that's the beauty of it. So. Uh, obviously, you bowled brilliantly against South Africa, two for 17. Uh, are you are, are you taking that sort of absence of Elise Perry, I guess, as a sign for you to be a, a real leader in that bowling attack? Um, in a sense, I guess, but I think that I kind of felt that way before Pez got out anyways. Not so much being the leader, but in terms of the pressure that's on me as, as a pace bowler in a T20 format. Um, we're obviously seeing more and more that it's a batter's game and um, spinners are generally the more successful ones in this format. So um, for me, there's always been that pressure. It's just a little bit more of it now that Pez is gone. Yeah, and also uh, there was the new rankings came out and you've lost your number one yeah. spot to Sophie Eccleston. Yeah, you could, you could get middle. it back tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> oh, possibly. Um, <laughs> playing a few extra games does help my cause there. Um, but I'm still on the podium, so I'm okay with that. Well, when the rankings were announced, now that the top batter now in this format in the world is Shafali Verma, amazing for a 16-year-old, very likely that, uh, that you'll be taking her on of your got her in your side? <laughs> yeah definitely obviously she's a big player for them um, hits the ball pretty cleanly but we know the way she plays she comes out with one gear and obviously it's just going to be controlling her. Mm. Uh, the left-hander Smriti Mandana there as well left-handers are they're a tricky one for you with those in swingers aren't they? They're annoying <laughs> <laughs> I know because I have a whole team full of them um, and I have to bowl to them in the nets but it look we've played a lot of games against Smriti now um, it's actually a really good challenge I think her and I go at each other very hard um, and that's a part of the I guess what this format is so yeah I'm looking forward to it. Now here at training earlier uh, the other Perry, Katy Perry, the one who <laughs> sings, she was here and and Elise and Taylor got to meet her but you guys were training at the you didn't think about nicking off for yeah. a few minutes? Look, I'm pretty jealous, I'm not going to lie. Um, I did see the entire Indian team got to meet her as well. So we'll, while we're there busting our guts in the back, um, they're all meeting Katy Perry. So, yeah, pretty jealous about that one. But hopefully I can sing with her on stage at some point. Uh, how much does this mean to you, really? That just this opportunity, knowing all of the build-up, you were in danger of not making it here, very real danger. So now that you are, can you give us a sense of what it means? I think we're honestly just happy to be here. I think the nerves and the excitement, everything that's kind of built up, but we're just here now. We've been talking about this for so long. Um, we've played essentially four knockout games in a row in terms of we lost that first group match. I think we're just yeah, bloody excited to be here. I think now that it's finally here, it's just let's get on with it, let's play it. Just sucks that we've got to wait till 6 p.m. I always love interviewing Megan. She is indeed a straight shooter. Sorry for the pun. No, that's great. Uh, but all the best tomorrow. Uh, you'll certainly have a whole nation here behind you. Well, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it.